Hey y'all, Chloe's grandpa, how you doing today? No walking, just talking. And I've decided that I'm not sure if I'm gonna walk every day. Um, maybe once my lungs get more into it, it seems that on the days that I walk, my knee hurts, whatever. But then I do everything else that I do throughout the day. And the next day, I can't breathe. Um, that happened the other morning. When I woke up, I coughed and choked for an hour and a half. And I pulled something in here, which hurt every time I breathe and blah, 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 blah. Well, I didn't walk that day. I walked yesterday and then I went to the store which completely destroyed my knee. After I went to the store, I couldn't walk. So I stayed in the house. Um, and then I woke up this morning, coughing and choking and couldn't breathe, can't catch my breath. I feel like I'm about to choke with every breath. Um, so we're gonna talk about a little bit about my health today. Today, um, I'm 52. I've smoked since I was about nine, ten years old, and then I know some of y'all are like, "Oh my gosh, that's so young! How did you get cigarettes?" Well, that was easy. <laughs> Come on, it was the 80s. Just getting cigarettes was a simple thing in the world to do. If I couldn't get them at the store, what I'd do is I'd walk up to the golf course that was right by where I lived, and they had a cigarette machine, and you just put in quarters and get your cigarettes and go on your way. Eventually, my parents just started buying my cigarettes, and it was okay to smoke. There was ashtrays in the school desks. You could smoke in the hospitals. You could smoke everywhere. Airplanes, McDonald's, Burger King, they had their own little ashtrays. Yeah, it was, smoking was a thing that nobody ever thought of. And then I also started drinking and doing drugs around the same time. And I found the beautiful thing of huffing paint. Huffing nitrous, all of that, and I didn't stop any of it for a very long time. Now, the huffing, I haven't huffed in 20 years. So, that's a good 20 years of huffing around, maybe, which is crazy. Don't do drugs, kids. It'll affect your body later on in life that you're like, oh, no big deal, blah, 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 blah. I'm 52 years old. Of course, I'm a little overweight, but I'm also a very tall person. I'm six foot three, and I'm a little over 300 pounds. I'm a big son of a gun. Um, but yes, I still smoke. Smoking, I'm cutting back. I've smoked so long that it's not even a habit. It's a something I do. Um, I'm cutting back on it, and here's the thing. My go-to emotion when I have anxiety is anger and rage. And I said before, I'm six foot three, and I'm a little over 300 pounds. And I can get very angry. That is my go-to. That's been my go-to my whole life is rage and anger. It's good to get it out and screaming and throwing stuff and causing bodily injury to other people sometimes helps with that. Okay? No. Never is the answer. Um, so I take medication for that. And quitting smoking, I've, oh, you just got to try this or try that. I'm allergic to the adhesive on the patches. Um... The nicotine lozenges are good, but 
they mess with my stomach. The chewing gum, y'all have seen my teeth. I'm like a jack-o'-lantern. Gum isn't anything I'm chewing. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering about my teeth, granted, I don't really brush the way most people do, but both my broken teeth are from opening beer bottles and childhood accidents. Bicycle. Skateboard. Okay. <laughs> All of these. Because I was smart. Don't drink and don't do drugs. I'm telling you. The things that you do to your body when you're young affect you when you're old. Well, I'm not worried about it. I could punch walls. Arthritis, arthritis, arthritis. Arthritis, arthritis, arthritis. Oh, I ain't got to go to the doctor. Arthritis. Yeah, it's the things you do when you're a child affect you when you're old. Think about it. I'm just saying. No matter what it is, it affects you when you're old. Um. Yeah, I don't know why I went there. Why did I go there? Oh, now my knee. It is completely full of arthritis. I was digging a hole with an auger. I was about, had the handles at about my knees and I caught a rock in mid, bro, oh, I'm digging a hole, bro, oh, and I'm a big son of a gun. I can hold that thing. Well, this time it hit it, spun out of my hands. The handle came around, hit my left knee and then hit my right knee. I started backing up and it hit my left knee again. So, yeah, it's a little hard to walk sometimes. Well, all the time. Granted, losing weight is going to help. And walking is going to help with that. And I don't know if I said it yesterday in the video. Um, oh, once I get better clothes. Um, because. <laughs> okay, here's the issue with my clothes. This jacket's like eight years old. Um, this shirt is five years old. I own 20 of them because I work out in the sun and that's all I own is work clothes. I do own a $900 suit that is custom tailored to fit me, which you got to say that I've never worn it. Not once. That was bought for me from a church. I asked for clothes to put in an interview because, like I said, all 20 of my white shirts look like this. I have five blue shirts, and they all look the same, stained, get rips down the sides, armpits are all ripped out. Um, My overalls, yeah, they need work. <laughs> I need a new pair of overalls. Um, my pajamas, I wear them all the time. Shoes, I have a pair of shoes pair of slides and a pair of work boots um that all boils down to my not loving money I'm not going to spend it on myself I what I have if you don't want to look at it don't look at it it doesn't bother me in the least little bit oh but you should look a little better for who for my wife she's sleeping granted on here I do want to get some better looking clothes and I am going to cut my hair and I am going to shave and all of that. I just can't yet. I'm not at that spot. I haven't come across my money making idea. Now, all of this that I'm doing, I'm not going to stop it. Tomorrow I'm going to go for a walk. And then the next day I'm going to do yard work, which cuts into the tractor stuff because like today, I'm going to go out and I'm going to fix the gate for the dog so that I can take the other gate out so that I can bring the lawnmowers back there and put start working on the area so I can start working on lawnmowers. I don't want to work on them in the yard because then it's I'm taking it apart here and then moving it there and I got to move all the screws and make sure I have everything because that's what I have with the orange one and the top of the engine's off and I couldn't tell you where one of the screws is to put it back together. But that's 
I was in a hurry to try to get it running to cut my grass and then the starter, I, I don't know. It's something I'm going to work on over the winter. It's going to be a great video because I got to a point with Andy and then it just kind of, I don't know what to do from there. Watch videos I have. I'm an idiot. I've told you all this before. I'm dumb. I've never worked on anything. I've started, I'm getting the, I'm doing it. Um, and that's okay. I'm okay with being an idiot and learning how to do it. Um, because I have some very smart people that watch my videos and will give me advice. Hey, try this. Hey, try that. Hey, you're doing this wrong. Hey, do this instead, which I love. And I love the encouragement. I love each and every one of you now. And I thank y'all for the encouragement that you give me it. Some of the stuff I do on here talking about Christian stuff is scary because there's a lot of haters out there and I'm built for hating. I don't care. I it's I truly tell you that I don't care. You can hate on me all you want because you're never going to hate on me as much as I've hated on myself. Okay? And you can call me whatever you want because if you can't match what my parents used to call me when I was a kid or an adult, then don't even try. All right? If you're going to stab me in the back, I've had people that I love like family that I would take a bullet for, not only stab me in the back, but cut it open and pull my freaking insides out. Okay? So you making a little comment like a keyboard warrior? Good luck, buddy. But I want to improve myself. Next year, I'm planning on doing fencing with my partner. Granted, I'm probably not going to be doing as much work as I used to do, and he's going to have to curt more of that, but I'll still be using my knowledge because fencing is the only thing I really know how to do. Um, I want to get into showing fencing, but it takes a lot out of me. Today, I'm going to be digging a couple holes. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much going to wear me out, breathing-wise. Um. Breathing, I have COPD. Um, and it's just slowly getting worse. I'm trying to quit smoking. I'm cutting down. I only smoke a little over half a pack of cigarettes a day. Um, considering I used to smoke two packs a day, that's not bad. But I'm slowly cutting back, and eventually it'll be no cigarettes. And hopefully I won't be a raging lunatic. Um, but that's all a work in progress. I have all winter because by spring, I want to be healthy enough to do stuff. I want to be able to do stuff. Granted, I know that I'm always going to hurt or I'm always going to do this or my breathing's never going to get better. I am never going to be cured. I'm going to die from COPD related problems okay wow that leaf tried to get me um i woke up this morning in the middle of an anxiety coughing choking fit and i thought about my mother who gave up and quit trying stuff she died of a heart attack that she had suffering a fit trying to catch her breath. I saw her kids go away. I saw her body wretched in pain, trying to cough. That's how she died. I can't get that image out of my head. That's exactly how I felt this morning when I was coughing and choking. And it scared the bejesus out of me. So I'm working on that. All right. You guys are coming with me. That's what a big part of this is. Um, today's election day. I pray that it isn't like the last election. And I can't wait until we actually have new people running for president.
president, and I pray that they're better than what we have now. Now, you say this candidate's better, that candidate's better. Um, I find it odd that both candidates' families and friends got rich while they were presidents. Or richer. Substantially. That bothers me. Um, because what they do there affects us in what they do, but my income is doubled, okay? I'll be completely honest with you. I make $400 a month now rolling cigarettes. That's what I live on. Um, but a loaf of bread costs twice as much, and it's smaller. Same with dog food and everything. So it's... While they're getting richer, we're getting poorer. There's no more middle class. It's everybody living at poverty level, below poverty level, or just above poverty level. That's how it is nowadays. Um, and let's just say it's a struggle every day. My wife, her health. She had a blood clot in her carotid artery and it was stuck there and it caused her brain to function with less oxygen than it should have had. She, she has a blood clotting disease um, and she had diabetes and she was, uh, has neuropathy. Well, that pretty much put her out for the count. She has stroke-like attacks. They're not strokes. They're not life-threatening or anything, but she has these episodes. Not that often anymore, but she still has them. And with the neuropathy, she didn't get off the couch. Well, now she's pretty much she told her best friend that her goal is to get on disability to go to a nursing home. So my wife has pretty much given up. Um, I try to get her up. It's a struggle every day, which is where a good part of my depression comes from. Um, she does good some days, some days she doesn't. Um, just trying to get her to brush her hair is a struggle most of the time. Um, so, that's why I don't work. I'm a caretaker. Um, I have to be here. And she suffers from something, bipolar maybe. I think that's what she's diagnosed with. But um, she has an extreme fear of being alone. Like, I was on the tractor one day. And I was gone for 17 minutes and she called me three times. Um, so it's hard for me to leave the house like that. So that's why I don't work. Um, I hope that answered some of y'all's questions. If y'all, like, like if you wonder why this or that or, um, but the main reason about the way my hair looks and the way I look, I don't care. It's, I'm not in this life to impress not a single person. Nobody. Not even myself. I live to impress God. Not really impress Him. Just show Him that I see what you want and I'm, I do everything I can to do it. I mess up. I'm not perfect. I'll never be perfect. Um, and that's just the way it is. I'm a sinner and I'll always be a sinner. I'm just a sinner who's working on themselves. Daily. All right, that's all I got. Go out there today, work on yourself, work on your health. Because the longer you live, the more smiles you can 
make. So go out there and make a kid smile. Go out there and make an old guy smile. Um, I love y'all. Thanks for the support and the encouragement. Um, God loves you and so do I. Have a great day.